So I'm married. I've been married very long. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. You know, it's a big decision. When he moved in and he's laying next to me, I had that thought, oh, crumb. He's here. I wonder when he's going to go home. <laughs> You're kind of stuck with each other. That's a big decision. He has sleep apnea, though. Every now and then he quits breathing. <gasps> And I'm thinking, well, that might be my out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a nice guy. I love this guy. He's great. Of course I love him, right? You know, so yeah, they, romance is real important in a relationship. On an average day, if you've been married for a while, let me hear from my married folks. Who's married in the house tonight? <laughs> oh, yeah. There we are. Anybody dating on a date night right now? Notice the married people didn't clap along with that. <laughs> Listen, married people, if you get showered and, and you put clothes on that are kind of nice, call it a date. <laughs> if you're going to the grocery store and you put on good shoes, you know, whatever, call it a date. You can date too. You can be just as happy as those people. <laughs> on an average day, of the married couple who've been married for a while, a man speaks about 2,000 words. A woman speaks about eight. Yeah. Now, when you're dating, and we heard the exuberance there, on, on the, men increase what they say to us 12,000 words during the dating process men speak to us in a day. Women have to, we have to accommodate that. We go down to five. 12,000 to five. You men, oh my goodness. <laughs> Talk, 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 talk. You get married, 2,000. That's right. Because you're being romantic. It's the romantic phase. And romance is very important, isn't it? Yes. Yes. I love romance. I love Romeo and Juliet. That's one of the most romantic plays, even though they die at the end. They said some pretty cool stuff to each other. The first time Romeo... Well, let, let, me, let, me, let me just backtrack for a second. I knew that in my relationship right now, the romance was pretty much going to have to be worked on when I heard this. Hey, Kim, I just cut one. I can't even stand the smell of this one myself. <laughs> you better open up some windows because it's pretty bad. And come in here and smell it because I think I'm sick. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not a fartologist. I'm not going to come in there and smell it. We're in our 50s and had hot dogs the night before. Maybe that's it. No romance at that point. That's awful. Romeo and Juliet. So, so Romeo sees Juliet at a party and he says to his friends, and it was a masquerade party, he sees her and he says to his friends, did my heart love until now? I swear for sight, I ne'er saw true beauty until this night. She comes out on a balcony, says, but soft, what light through yonder window breaks is the east and Juliet's the sun. My life with this man is more like this. Romeo, Romeo, where fought thou now, Romeo? <laughs> I seeth thou not, yet smelleth thou in every chamber. For thou dost reek, Romeo. <laughs> and if Romeo were to have that happen. I think he would say something like this, but soft. A wind from down under doth break. Come, help me create a gentle breeze from the east, for the smell is offensive even unto me. Ladies and gentlemen, the lowest form of comedy is the fart joke. The highest form of theatrical performance is Shakespeare. And they collided in front of you tonight, right? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. If you want to watch my entire special for 99 cents, click here. If you want to watch more clips, click here. Right here. Click it. You know you want to click it. I do believe you want to click it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm all of a sudden English, but usually when you click, it's good. It's all good when you click. <laughs>